Hey guys, so I wasn't really going to make a video on today, I was doing a little bit of just fishing for fun, and then I found this. This makes me sick to my stomach, absolutely sick to my stomach. This is why fishermen get a bad rap. Hunters get a bad rap for killing things and leaving out to die, but this is why fishermen get a bad rap sometimes, especially people who use nets. I mean, this is absolute fucking bullshit. I don't know who in their right minds would ever do this, but look at this. This is a gill net out here in a creek in Charles City County, Virginia. And you can tell this thing has been out here for at least a week. Look at this. Big gar dead in it. Bowfin right here. And look at that. That's nasty. Look at that. That is disgusting. Look at this. All these fish. I don't even know what that is. Oh god, that's a massive white perch, I think. Look at that. I think that's either a bass or a white perch. I mean, this is just disgusting. Dead fish everywhere. Oh, it stinks. But this is just disgusting. Who would ever do this? And they just left it on the creek. Left it on this creek where there's hundreds and hundreds, thousands probably, of heron and shad migrating up this creek to go spawn. And they don't, people don't even think of the damage they're putting on the environment look at this hundreds and hundreds of dead fish and this is just the top of the net as you go deeper there's more fish and you can tell how some of these fish are half eaten you got shad stuff that people shouldn't even be catching in these nets this is just disgusting oh. hey guys so basically I've called the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries and reported this as a wildlife crime so now I'm just trying to free some of these fish that are in here. Unfortunately, I don't have a pair of gloves, so handling shad right now is going to be really hard. But I'm going to see if I can get this one out at least. There we go. Let him... No, no, no. Don't swim back into the net, you dumbass. But look at... Oh, this is just disgusting. All these shad. I understand using a gill net if you're going to be responsible for it. But just using it and then just leaving it is absolutely... Despicable and irresponsible. Oh, come on. Come on, big guy. I mean, look at this. Ugh. These fish are half eaten. Just nasty, nasty, nasty. And someone most likely probably left this. I'm guessing because. Ugh. 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 Mm. A big old catfish. Oh my god, look at that catfish. Ugh. <sighs> Dead. That's the doornail. Big old fucking catfish. 20 pounds plus, probably. Dead. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, come on, big guy. Let me help you. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to get him out of this fucking thing. There we go. There he goes. Well, I saved at least one catfish out of here and a shad. Oh, two shad and a catfish. So that makes me feel a little bit better. All right, guys. Um, a bit of an update now. I've decided to remove the buoys and the anchor from the net and just leave it there for the moment. Um, I'm going to take the buoys and the anchor over and then see if I can attach, tie the um, rope from the net onto my kayak and tow it over since I already have about, between these two anchors and the buoy, I probably have about 50 pounds on. So I want to have the least amount of weight so I can pull the most, um, so I can try to pull this net because I'm just not able to budget with all this other stuff in so I'm gonna go over here and drop it where I left uh, my fishing stuff and uh, we'll see what we can do hey right, guys so the buoys are now unloaded um, oh I think this is might be where she's snagged up oh, I don't want to get too close to that big old mess of fish that thing just smells disgusting you can see where I'm guessing turtles and shit have been eating on this thing Oh, he's still alive. Let me see if I can't free him. Little carp. Poor old thing. You can tell he's barely alive. Yeah, he's been fucked up in here. Oh, man. I'm just debating whether to just kill him or leave him in here or try to free him. I feel like I'm going to rip him to pieces. Pretty soft fish. Oh, let's try going the other way. No, you can tell this shit's cut into him pretty good. He's soft. He's just barely breathing. There's nothing I can do on that front. Unfortunately, look at all this. Look at this. Mmm. Yeah, I wish. I wish you guys could smell this, but at the same time, I would 
hate how you guys have to smell. This is rank. It really is. Oh, it's in the camera. So I'm trying to find. I think this thing's hung up somewhere. It might just be all these. Yeah, it's hung up right here. Around a big old garfish, I think. Oh, a garfish and a catfish and something else. Alright, so I got that all balled up, at least. Let's try to deal with this. Basically, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is holding this thing. Maybe find a reason why this guy left it. Still, even if he did have some sort of weird-ass reason, he should still have cut his neck. Oh, shit, fuck. Damn it. Big old large mouth in here. See if I can't free him. God, he's been in here a while. See, look, this is what it does. It gets around their gills, and they can't get out. But I can't free them very well either. Big old fish, too. It's a nice large mouth. See, maybe these bass fishermen would care more if they knew that these nets were catching their fish. They love so much. They spend all this money on them. See, look at that. Just... The guy, he probably, he'll not, he won't survive you if I get him out, probably, but, oh, God, this is nasty. There's nothing else I can do, though. I didn't bring my knife. Oh, man, I feel terrible. Come on, the guy, let me get you out. He'll be scarred for life, but maybe he'll survive. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Well, he's all torn up, but most of them were just flesh wounds, so I'm hoping he might be able to survive. Look at that. Mud shad after mud shad. Oh, what's that? Big old, another big old, yeah, that's that, I think that's a smaller bowfin this time. The, the wire just turns brown from all the disintegrating dead fish. Hey guys, so, a bit of an update now. Um, game wardens are taking quite a while. It's been about an hour, hour 15 since I've called. I didn't see the exact time and I've tried pulling the net in just by myself to pretty much no avail so what I'm gonna do now is I've got most of the fish out of it that I could but there's still a couple trapped in it that are pretty eaten up like um you can tell they've been in it and they will probably won't survive but I want to at least give them a chance and let them instead of just because I'm gonna try to drag this thing out I'm gonna try to cut it into three sections and drag it out so what I'm gonna do first is take my knife back and cut all these fish out that are still alive and then I guess all the dead ones will be used as evidence against whoever the frick gets tagged on this freaking net. I don't know. We'll probably get a pretty hefty fine if not jail time for wanton waste. But we'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be able to do but I'm going to try. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm cutting them out or something. Big old largemouth battle thing too. I think that's a largemouth. I think it's just a discolored largemouth. Look at that hog. That is an absolute. That would be a, that would be a really nice fish. Oh, that's a freak. Here's another fish that's alive. Let's see if I can't free him. So he doesn't swim back into the net. There he goes, down to the bottom. Alright, good. That's at least, oh, what is that, six fish I've got out of the net? Let's see if I can get some more. Here's another fish that literally, I think he just swam into the net from the looks of it. So it's, I haven't seen any crap in here. Looks like this guy just swam into the net. So let's cut him on out. Oh, he's just barely breathing, actually. I think he might have been, yeah, he. He was in here a while, you can tell. Mm. There we go. See if he'll swim off, I'm not sure. Well, he swam off at least a bit, and I think he went right back into the garden. Mm. Ugh, the flies coming in too as I hold this thing up more. Mm. Just trying to get shit out. Work with me. Look at that catfish. Look at him. He's half eaten away by stuff, and he's still alive. Oh, well, 
you guys don't want to see something graphic, close your eyes now. But I'm gonna put this guy on this misery. This is just painful to watch. I, there's no way he survives from this. I don't know what to do here, guys. To end this fish's life, or to try to cut him out. I'm gonna cut him out and then see the extent of his injuries. It's hard not to feel bad. Well, he swam off, so maybe he'll survive. I don't know. Uh, I feel like a bad person for even letting him go. Man, look at that. Oh, why? Look at that. That's a hell of a mud shed. Oh. Alright, guys. This is probably the final update. Um, Game Wars have taken a super long time to get here. About an hour and a half. I understand that they have to put the boat in the water and shit. But unfortunately, I have to go. My ride is here. Um, I, since I can't drive yet. But, um, so what I'm going to do is I took these buoys off and the anchors off earlier and I'm going to reattach them so that the net's more visible. Um, I'm actually going to keep the anchors, um, since I don't really know what I'd do with them and I'd, there's no point in putting them back on here or really leaving them anywhere. So I'm just going to take them with me and if the game warden calls and says they need them for evidence or something, I can just simply return them to them. So basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm taking these buoys and I'm going to just attach it back to the net so that when um, officials from the game warden's office come, they can easily see the see it. It's not just um, the dead fish that they'll have to spot. So um, I'm gonna get this other one attached from here, and then that's gonna be the end of me. All I have to do is paddle up the creek and um, paddle up the creek. Oh God, the smell. All I have to do is paddle up the creek and uh, pull my boat out, and I'm out of here. But, uh, hopefully, um, this might not be the last update. Hopefully, I might get a call from the game warden saying that they have successfully recovered it, and it has the tag on there, so whoever's net this is uh, should get pegged with a pretty steady fine. But, um, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like and share. Hopefully people will see this video who run gill nets and be more cautious about where the fuck they leave them and how long and shit like that because that's really fucked up my day and pissed me off seeing shit like this but uh at least I got a couple free that made up for it. Alright so I'll see you guys later.